Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into Lee, the impacts as we work our way up toward Canada, parts of New England. I also want to get into this. You see that yellow spot right there? That is the next system that could potentially head toward the Caribbean. That is down the road. But I want to really expand out the view in just a, sh a second, show you the big tropical model as we look long term together to really see what's next in the hurricane season. We're going to do that in this video. Now let's start with what's going on right now. Of course, this, this is by midnight tonight. This is Lee at this point, losing tropical characteristics, but tropical storm impacts are going to be moving in to Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. We get toward New Brunswick and extreme Eastern Maine, not as much over toward Cape Cod, most of it off to the east. A tropical system has a warm, well-defined core. This will start to lose that as it lifts up to the north, but widespread tropical storm impacts here, Bay of Fundy, as far as uh, what we can expect for the surge. I want to get into that in a moment, but you see as we get toward tonight and tomorrow morning, areas of heavy rain. As I was talking about days ago, Halifax just off toward the uh, west, that's where some of the heaviest rain would be. And then as we work our way into later on Saturday, this is Saturday evening, still gusty winds around and even some of that trying to stretch back toward Newfoundland. You can see some heavy rain possible as we get into a uh, Sunday morning as all of this eventually pulls away. But let me show you the wind field with this. The white shading, those are winds 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. I've got both on there on the chart depending on what you use. You see here this red shading, those are the really uh, stronger winds near hurricane force winds of 110 kilometers an hour or 70 miles per hour. Just like yesterday, this is by the time we get into midnight, the core will be about 150 miles off to the east of Cape Cod. We'll get some flooding on the uh, back bay there with that northerly flow here. Heaviest weather saying just offshore of New England and then watching Nova Scotia, Bay of Fundy over toward New Brunswick here St. John. And again, this will be lifting up to the north and by tomorrow morning, some of the winds will pick up Prince Edward Island as this starts to work in. Yes, the winds diminish a little bit, but right into Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, as we get into tomorrow morning through tomorrow afternoon, that's when some of the worst weather will be. We'll get some scattered power outages and spots. Here's the core of this. This is one o'clock tomorrow. It'll be making landfall either in Nova Scotia or just off to the west going through the bay and then lifting up towards St. John. So uh, we'll see a landfall in Nova Scotia or St. John, uh, right near St. John in New Brunswick as we work our way into six o'clock tomorrow. Gusty winds as we get into extreme eastern Maine. Eastern Maine, we'll have some of the winds gusting to about 40, 50 miles per hour. Heaviest weather just off toward the east and then watching that surge over toward Nova Scotia and then right up through the bay. And then we'll see some of the winds expanding as we work our way into Sunday as a whole, the system weakens. But New Newfoundland as we work our way into Sunday afternoon, we could see some of those gustier winds around. Now, as far as the surge goes, uh, I'm not positive how this is going to work out with that surge. Again, we have incredible uh, variations in tides in the Bay of Fundy itself, but we've got that high tide 110 tonight, so very early tomorrow morning, just after midnight, and another high tide around 130. That's problematic because that's when this will be starting to work in, and we could see a surge of an additional uh, 10 feet, looking at the scale, this scale here is in feet, in parts of the Bay of Fundy. Uh, again, uh, we'll see what happens, but just putting that out there that we could see uh, very high levels of not just the tide, but the surge, some extreme surge levels in the Bay of Fundy that we may not have seen seen necessarily before, just depending on the angle this takes. Even though this isn't going to be strong as the uh, Fiona, this being a little bit more off toward the west, it's more of a concern for the bay. So I'll be watching that, giving you that heads up right now. Everything on track, this has been very locked in. Everything we've been talking about together really over the last two weeks. Thank you for your trust in sharing this. I just do this channel just to get out, get out the right information about these storms. And this will have that weakening trend. Bermuda, everything worked out as far as the forecast is concerned. I know we've, hey, we still have some gusty winds around. Thank you for leaving the comments in Bermuda. I've been thinking of you overnight with the core of the system just back toward the west. So we'll see some of the winds extreme eastern Maine, but more so uh, New Brunswick over toward uh, Prince Edward Island, down through Nova Scotia of 110 kilometers an hour, 70 miles per hour. 
per hour. You get anywhere from Manchester back through our Boston, even over toward Hyannis, gust 40, maybe 50 miles per hour along the Cape. The Cape, we've seen much worse systems, of course, uh, with Bob, with uh, Gloria in the past, with Carol way back when. Uh, but the core of this will be off to the east, and that's huge for the Cape. Not great news, though, of course, for Nova Scotia, as I've been highlighting. And then you get over here a little bit closer to Cape Breton. That's as you get over toward uh, anywhere from, uh, as I mentioned, Halifax, and then off to the east. That's where we're going to have some of the winds around 80 kilometers an hour, some of the gusts, not quite as much. And as far as the rain goes, about 100, 125 millimeters of rain in spots, over four inches of rain in some locations. So that is there. I covered that. As promised, I want to get into the big picture and what I'm seeing out there. Here we are in the Caribbean, Jamaica, Belize, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Grenada. Uh, look at this. This here is what will become Nigel. A few days ago, I mentioned the scenarios, moving into the Caribbean or making the curve. The curve would be the most likely scenario. I'm still seeing that. So that is some good news, at least in the short term. Bermuda and again the Maritime of Canada, Eastern Canada, Atlantic region. Watching this down the road, there'll be another front here, not quite the same track as Lee, but this is still going to make a run at Bermuda. So heads up once we work our way into next week. I do expect this to be a hurricane somewhere near Bermuda again by the middle of next week, late Tuesday into Wednesday. This is the early heads up on that. There'll be a front here. Hopefully this front catches it early enough to keep this off to the east of Bermuda and then to the east of uh, Nova Scotia again in Newfoundland. And I'll, I'll be watching that. You can see it here getting tied up into the front. This is about a week from now. This is by Thursday into Friday. And this is a week from now. Let me stop it right here. This is what's going on. So I'll be watching this, keeping that hopefully this front moves in quick. If the front moves in quick, that'll be a good blocker for Bermuda and for the Atlantic region of Canada. But this is what I'm watching next for the Caribbean. Most of the models are picking up on a, an area here that is going to come off. Even the National Hurricane Center is that yellow spot I showed you at the beginning of the video. Keep an eye on this area that will come off the coast of Africa early in the week. And then as we go throughout the week, that'll start to march across and almost all the models have this developing into a tropical storm, then eventually into a hurricane. And most as of now have this more moving to the west, not that quick curve. That's why in this video right now, I'm giving you that heads up in the Caribbean. This is going to be the next thing we'll be watching together. Plenty of time to watch it. This is a week out and it's still near the coast of Africa. So uh, we'll be tracking this together for about two weeks, but there is another system out here that could get a little bit closer to the Caribbean, a higher likelihood based on the steering conditions. And that's what we'll be tracking together as we go over the next couple of weeks. It is common this time of year to be tracking stuff. We're at the peak of hurricane season. So this is typical, but I want you to know I'm watching it for you already, clearly jumping way ahead. Now, here's the Caribbean, by the way. This is what uh, will become a Nigel. And you see the curve here, and this is what I want it here to see this curve here. Here's Bermuda over here. It does look like most indications are it's not going to do anything kind of crazy and it should make that curve away, but it's that area back behind it that I'll be watching. So Nigel should eventually get a name. And then the next name on the list is Ophelia. And that could be that next tropical disturbance that comes off the coast of Africa, which would be more of one to watch for the Caribbean over the next couple weeks. Short term, scattered rain and storms to dry weather. I was posting on Instagram uh, this morning that heat dome that is in place. We have been too dry again. Yes, some of us have gotten some thunderstorms, but not a lot. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, uh, Montserrat. We need to get some of the rain over towards St. Martin. Costa Rica, Panama, uh, heavier rain and storms at times. This is on our Saturday. My friends in Cuba, spotty shower storm. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos. Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, again, hit or miss shower storm. A little bit more Haiti in the Dominican Republic. By Sunday, there's that flare up in Central America, but you see the Eastern Caribbean, Guyana, Trinidad, we're still too dry. Not a whole lot of rain. And then, of course, our attention will be what is off to the east as we get into the upcoming week. So rain chance through the weekend, just 20% in Trinidad. Grenada, a 10% chance today. That's all. 20% chance tomorrow. 20% chance the next two days in Barbados. A 20% chance the next two days in St. Lucia. This is low for this time of year. Uh, Dominica, rain chance 20 to 30% as we get through the weekend. 40 to 50% chance of scattered storms in Jamaica, mainly after 
afternoon and evening with the heating from the day. 10 to 20% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A 50% chance in Puerto Rico. That would be with the daytime heating. The afternoon storms uh, as we work our way to the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 30% chance today. 20% chance tomorrow. Not a lot. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat. We're going to see just a passing shower or storm. Antigua and Barbuda. Rain chance 10 to 20%. 10 to 20% this weekend in Anguilla. And as we work our way into Belize, isolated to scattered storms this weekend. 30 to 40% chance. Bahamas, not much. Again, the seas with Lee, that's up to the north. Uh, very dangerous rip currents, though, in spots. St. Martin, Saba, my friends in Stacia, rain chance 20% tomorrow. 30% chance to a 40% chance this weekend in the Yucatan of Mexico over toward Cancun. Cayman Islands, isolated shower possible, 30% chance. 20% chance in the Turks and Caicos, watching the, uh, the seas. Haiti, isolated to scattered showers and storms. 30 to 40% chance. Dominican Republic, a 50% chance today of a few showers and storms flaring up, about a 5% chance. That's it in Aruba, very limited. That dome of high pressure and control, that's what I was posting on Instagram this morning. Curacao, 5, 10% chance. 20 to 30% chance in Guadalupe, very minimal. We work our way into Martinique, rain chance 20 to 30%, and about a 70% chance in uh, uh, today in uh, Costa Rica. 60% chance on Saturday, 60% chance on Sunday. Did I have Dominica in there? I'm not sure. I got to go back and look. I may have clicked ahead a little bit too quickly. Rain chance in Dominica if uh, I need a nap. If I missed it, 20 to 30 percent as we go through the weekend. Guyana, rain chance holding at 10 percent. Limited, very limited. As we get towards Suriname, watching those drought conditions, those that work in uh, agriculture and farmers have been posting some comments. Thank you for that. Keep me posted on what's going on on the ground, what you got going on. Northern Venezuela, spotty shower or storm. So plenty to track. We're thinking of Lee as it moves into Canada, kind of clipping by name, but more so into Canada. Everything I've been showing you the last few days holds. I'll be watching out for that surge in the Bay of Fundy tonight into tomorrow. Nigel will be firm, uh, forming the most likely scenarios for that to make a curve in that new tropical wave, uh, a couple back behind that. Uh, that is going to be the one to watch for the Caribbean as we go forward. I'll be watching that. So thinking of you in Canada, dealing with Lee, please be safe out there. Sometimes it's the little problems. You get sneaking outside after a storm and having power lines down and stuff like that. So just use some extra caution. Leave those comments. We're thinking about you, of course, and I hope you have a good day ahead.